Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie. We're going to have a look at today and build the Lego Friends, oh my gosh, what's this called? <laughs> I keep thinking of it as the ambulance cat tree, which makes no sense. Well, it kind of makes sense because there's an ambulance and there's a cat tree with a cat in it. <laughs> Hence why it's the cat tree, but it's not. So this is the Vet Clinic Ambulance. That's its official name and it's actually an add-on set, an auxiliary that you can have to the Vet Clinic, but you don't need to have the Vet Clinic to have fun with this set because it's got its own play elements and it's actually a really cute little display model all on its own. It's got 304 pieces and it is $50 RP here in Australia. Let's have a look inside. So there are two mini dolls and they're in separate bags, but I'm actually going to bring them all out now. Emma's the first one we see officially in the first bag. This is the first time we've seen this shirt she actually has this torso as well in the helicopter which I haven't built yet so <laughs> I but, but yeah it's not a shirt you see very often she's wearing her bow of course because apparently she needs that while she is out doing whatever she's doing here well she's doing rescues that's what it is all about there's an ambulance she's gonna be taking them off to the vet clinic and out of the next bag is Olivia. She's wearing an outfit we've seen quite a few times. Super duper cute. <laughs> number, number, I don't, I actually don't get tired of seeing this little outfit with a little tiny Pac-Man in the middle and it's metallic and it makes me very happy. And they're also, yeah. So there's a tan cat, which we have not seen before in this color and she's so pretty. I think this is a gorgeous color for a cat and I'm um, bit sad that this is the only set she's in in this color so far. I'm calling her a she because she totally looks like a she to me. And a sand blue kitten. Is this the only time we've seen a sand blue kitten too? I think there's another one in the helicopter as well. And a little baby bunny. So three animals and two mini dolls. That is a lot of fun. Oh, I love that. Okay, all right. So, oh, such an pretty as kitties. <laughs> I need to unfocus from the kitties. Focus on the building because we need an ambulance. So this is the vet ambulance and I, I mean Emma's obviously in charge don't, don't I love how the girls in the actual sets take on all these different roles whereas in the actual TV series you don't see them doing quite as many versatile things I can imagine you know Emma getting distracted by a cheese shop and forgetting to deliver the, the animals to the vet but I don't know but I do like the fact that they have a go at all the different all the different activities when they're actually in the sets. So, so far we have got blue, white, and beautiful vibrant coral to make that line, like which is what's normally a red stripe or, a, well, in yeah, a red, ready stripe around, around the edge of the ambulance. And inside there's, a, we've put a scale, that scale sticker on, which we saw also in the vet for measuring the weight of the, of the animals. And we've got a window over here that opens top down. Maybe it could be like a little cat display or where you get your cat delivery, like, an, like a soft serve ice cream van, except here, this is the van for where you get your cats. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would totally endorse that. And then I'd have too many cats and then I'd get in trouble with the council. <laughs> oh. All right, I digress. So on the back, we've got some, yeah, we got some little blue sparkly dots as our lights. I'm assuming that's the back. That is not the back. This is the front because we've got a nice movable steering wheel. That is a lovely contained, yeah, driver's chair there. Vet 05. This is the fifth time we've had a vet set. Is that why it's Vet 05? Hmm, curious about the 05 on that. But it's, yeah, it's also straight now, which makes me much happier. Okay, bag number two. It looks like, well, yeah, we've still got to continue on with this ambulance. It's, I like the colours though. I really, I was about to say, I tried to say like and love at the same time. I like of the colours. And in here in this box in the back, we're putting a whole heap of accessories. There's a clip there for the stethoscope. There are more clips up there. There's a nice display bit for the coal pack, which probably needs to be in a freezer to stay cold, but eh, I'll allow it. And this is a lid, a lid for the for the box down there. That's really tidy. We're packing a lot into this little space. Teeny tiny living space. Well, it's not a living space. Teeny tiny vet, <laughs> vet, vet ambulance space. Got a sink because hygiene is incredibly important. Washing up and these stickers on here, all the ungents and lotions and medications and all the important things that we need for uh, for the emergency transport of pets a vet coat on the sticker here and this is going to be a swing out wall it's got a clip on it too so that swings out so we've got some nice access this is such a there is so much in this space look at that isn't that tidy oh i love it and on the front let's see what kind of hood shape we get here so round it out down the bottom and this piece ooh, that's nice that's 
that's really, really nice. I kind of expected it to be like a pet animal on the front, but it's not. But I like it like this. It's a bit more generic. It's a bit more useful. All right. On the top, we get a lovely line of bright, vibrant coral with some of the quarter pie pieces there. Just they indicate where those hinges are, which is really useful to people like me. And because <laughs> I often, you know, tile over those. And on the clipboard is an X-ray of the kitty. And that is one of the cutest stickers I've ever put on my life. That is so adorable. There's a place for everything in here. And I've put this around the wrong way. So if we put that around like that, it turns into a box with, with a window. Oh, that is, so that's really nice design. I, um, yeah, I didn't get that right the first time through. So we put the spoon and the otoscope up here, the ear looker in a thing, and a thermometer, and this bit here is a light. Wow, they, they, they fitted so much into that. Such a great design. And this is going to be the lid, which is not the right term for the top of a vehicle. This is gonna be the roof, and it's detachable. So let's see. This big, we get, we get this on here and then a nice big long bit on the front. And we have a sticker on that, that hood part there for the front. Oh, wonderful. And do we get some lights? Like, I, I mean, I like me a good siren. Light siren, siren lights. The blinking lights that go with sirens because the lights don't actually make any noise. Oh my goodness. That's really cute. Yeah, there is a lot in there now. We need a wheels. Really well, really well equipped. I'm blown away by how much stuff is packed into that, into that vehicle. Wow. All right. So yeah, everything works as it should. This is nice. Let's move on to the next bag. We, oh, we actually have, yeah, the, the nurse's little hat thing, which does anybody wear this anymore these days? It's kind of cute. We'll put it on. She can wear it with her bow. And we're up to bag number three, which is the bag that Olivia comes in and the little baby bunny. And obviously, you know, the bunny needs a flower on its head. Otherwise it doesn't know it's a bunny. It's an existential crisis without it. And on the green thing, we've got some water and some cat food. So this is definitely the cat tree. This is the cat's local hangout. I love how we are creating curved shapes here. Oh, with those those inverted curves in green. I'm pretty sure they're new in that color and they just that makes the most beautiful Yeah, it's not a clunky display is it? it's really really nicely shaped shaped base plate on this that we've created and in the water is a whirlpool My gosh, it's all gone down at the cat park today. So I mean you have whatever scenario you like, but obviously there is some crisis going on with the water the twig sticking out, they're holding onto the twig. They're all in there at the moment. Well, not all of them, but the babies have wandered into the danger zone. Lucky we're gonna fix that. So there's a carrot over here, massive carrot for the baby bunny. In the back, there is a little boxy kind of area where you can just store whatever you like. I like the fact that Lego is now putting places for everything to be clipped in. So nothing is kind of floating free when you pick it up to try and move it around. And I'm pretty sure that that like half cylinder in that medium nougat is new in that color too. This one here, I think. Oh, I like the ladybug sticker on the front. <laughs> this is a nice variety. We used to get all of the butterfly stickers. So it's nice to have some ladybird stickers on the like on a Lego Friends set here. Okay, more clips out the back. There's a nice little couple of jumper studs there with pink and the purple plates and moving up onto the tree because I did say this is a cat tree right there are so many places to store cats as well as a baby bottle and a brush this is a very well equipped cat tree I do have to mention though that cats and bunnies and you know they don't they don't habitate together that's not even a word but they do not live together peacefully the bunny would not be around for very long so Hmm. They're cute together in a set, but in nature, it's not going to end well. It's going to end like a David Attenborough documentary. Now, this bit here, <laughs> with, the, with the gazelle and the lions, in this case, the cats and the bunnies. So we've got a nice whirly up bit where you can pop the, the babies or whoever's, you know, struggling in the water into the basket and, yeah... You pull them up and you're gonna to have to do some serious bending over that banister there to be able to rescue them but hey you know we we'll figure that out when they get to the top <laughs> we just pull them out and put them down near the food because they have been through a terrible trial just need some nice feeding up this is uh, like a little tree housey laddery thing up to the top level so we've got a pink ladder from the bottom to the second level and this one goes up here it is it's a cat tree house it's so adorable 
oh my gosh, I really like this. And I, you know, I, I, I had been putting this, putting off building this one for the bigger sets, but I'm really glad that I got time to build it now before the end of the year. It's really, yeah, it's, it's good value. I like it. <laughs> it's good value and fun. Okay, I uh, got some branches going on. Uh, and on the top, on the top, I don't know what's happening here. I'm going to assume there's some signage. Yeah, so that's going to be a sign with... Uh, <laughs> it's the cat love tree sign. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my goodness. I, I'm sure there's a story here that I don't know about. And oh, look, this is why they all fell in. Because I hadn't made the date. We needed to make the danger sign first. Then everything would have been okay. So there we go. We've got it. It's all built. This is, it is really, really lovely. There are so many places that you can pop the cats. You can bring in more friends to hang out at the cat tree. You know, just be aware of natural predators and stuff so that there aren't too many catastrophes. I love the basket element. I love the whirly whirlpool and the, like the moving components are always really exciting for me. It's so simple, but it just makes a really, really great effect. And the twig sticking up is genius. I like that. <laughs> All right, yeah, of course Emma fell in. Or did she? Did she just get on that because she wanted a ride? I think that's probably, uh, that's how I would play it. <laughs> Yay, spinny thing! Okay, I love it. I really, really like it. You do not need the vet clinic to have this as part of your collection. It's a wonderful add-on for the vet clinic, but you just don't need it. Look, it's so much fun. Look, Emma, they're sending the cat down to rescue her. An excellent plan, because that cat won't jump on your face and scratch you and run away. No, it'll definitely rescue. <laughs> All right, we've come to the end of the build. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the set. And I'll see you with another video really soon. <laughs> Bye.